In this final video on equations, we are going to look at simultaneous linear and quadratic equations. You will find this on page 156 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6 c's. A linear equation is an equation of a straight line. A quadratic equation is the equation of a parabola and has one variable squared. If more than one variable is squared, it's not a parabola. Together they formed a system of linear and quadratic equation that can be solved algebraically by making use of the substitution method, not elimination. Only substitution will work. Substitute the linear equation into the quadratic equation to create an equation which can be solved. So parabola, straight line. Do you see how many times they intersect? Two times. They can intersect two times. So there will be two coordinate points as a solution. Okay, but let's start. Let's look at the example. Solve these two equations and write the coordinates of the points of intersection. So if I solve this, just substitute this one into, substitute this one into that in the place of y. So I get this. Then I take everything to one side, I factorize, and I get x is 2, and x is negative 1. And now I just take these two values, it's almost like I got my x values. Then I take that two values, and I substitute it in the linear one, because that's the easy, but you can also in the quadratic. So by substituting it into the linear one, I get y is 4 and y is 1. But then make sure you write the correct one. So if it was 2, the x value, the y value was 4. And if the x value was negative 1, then the y value must be 2. Okay, and it was actually this one that I solved there. Can you see? Um, let's see if it's like negative 1 and 1, 2 and 4. Okay, I want you to stop the video. And I want you just to do one. Do for me, try now 38. Number A. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just move it up. Okay, there's my two. Do you see my linear? my quadratic. I'm going to solve it by substitution. So let's call this 1 and this call 2. So we are going to substitute 1 in 2. So if I'm doing that, I'm just going to take, uh, and I want to show you in red, I take this, okay, um, and I substitute in there. Okay. So basically, I'm going to have x plus 1 is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 4. So this is going to be x squared minus 3x plus 4 minus x minus 1. So this is going to be x squared minus 4x plus 3. Okay. Now, you can see if it can factorize. If it cannot factorize, you must use the formula. But let's see if it can factorize. This is in group A. It's a quadratic trinomial. So let's see. 3 and 1 and 1 and 1. 3 plus 1. Oh, it's 4. Signs will be the same. Both will be negative. And x and x. So what will I get? x minus 3. x minus 1. So therefore, 0 equals x minus 3 and or, 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 or 0 equals x minus 1. So therefore, x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 1. Okay, now take your linear equation. What is that? And then put the 3. 
and then take this one and that will be 2. So um, I say solve these two equations right on the coordinates. So therefore, the coordinates will be, if it was 3, it gave you an answer of 4. Okay. And if it was 1, it gave you 2. And this is the two points. Let's call it 2 points of intersection. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's look at another example. So in this case, solve it again. Now, the problem is in this is that uh, it's a bit more complicated, the equations. There's your linear, there's your quadratic. So again, substitute one. Uh, okay, first, you have to rearrange, remember um, substitution. You have to have either x equals or y equals and work with that one. So you have to rearrange your equation to make actually x the subject. So if you do that, you're going to get 2x is 2 minus 3. And then, so in this case, I cannot avoid the fractions. And then as soon as it's like that, I substitute. And now it's even a square, and be careful for that bracket. I make my denominators the same. I cancel it out by multiplying with the LCM. Um, and I, I'm just going to factorize, get my y value, substitute, get my x values. They just said solve the simultaneous equations. So let's just see here. They didn't ask you the coordinate points. So the solution, x is 1 when y is 0, and x is negative 4 over 5 when y is 6 over 5. So you can just end by doing it like this. Okay. Um, I, I must give you a fraction now. I must look for one that will give you a fraction. Um, okay, let's do b. So stop the video and do number B. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Right, let's start. Okay, so let's write it first, that we first see what we are having. Okay, I'm going to move it a bit down. I must just see this at least. Okay, here's number B. So it's 2y is equal to x minus 2. And then x squared plus xy minus 5x plus 3y is equal to 3. So if I'm going to simplify this, I'm just going to first work on this equation. This is 1, this is 2. So just divide 2, divide 2. So y is going to be x minus 2. Please don't cancel. It's two terms over 1. So this is still 1. So substitute 1 in 2. And if I do that, now every time I see a y, you see a y, I want to make it in red. y, y. So always check. There can be more than one. I must substitute this part. So let's do it. I'm going to have x squared plus x, and in the place of y, it's x minus 2 over 2 minus 5x plus 3y, x minus 2 over 2 is equal to 3. Okay, then I'm going to have, okay, now, now remember, it's almost like you multiply all the terms. Okay, at first, I'm going to put this in. Put it first over one. Put it on top. I know it's extra bit, but sometimes, especially if the sums, it's so complicated. It's so easy to make mistakes. And then if you want to, that LCM. LCM is 2, so it's 2 over 1. Multiply 2 over 1, multiply 2 over 1, multiply 2 over 1, multiply 2 over 1. Okay, now what will cancel? This will cancel. 
this will cancel, the race will not cancel. So it's going to be, in this case, um, 2x squared plus x, x minus 2, minus 10x plus 3x minus 2, that's equal to 6. Okay, so this is 2x squared plus x squared minus 2x minus 10x plus 3x minus 6. Okay, let's just bring that 6 also over. And it's nice. And I can come to that like terms. So this is like, 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 like. Okay. So this is 2 plus that a or a 1. So it's 3x squared. This is negative 2. So it's negative 12 plus 3. So negative 9x. And this is negative 12. And this is 0. Okay. And now, um, I, you can see what you can do. That will always help you if you have to factorize. Always common factor. So this will be x squared. Oh, this pin at the bottom, it's not working nice. Minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to see if I can continue here on this side. See how it works there. Okay. I think no, rather I'm going to start from the top. I really want it not to struggle so much. Okay, so um, I'm just going to, because I showed you how to come to there, so I'm just going to make space here at the bottom. It's almost like I'm just continuing, but I will rewrite that one. So I showed you how to come to the one quadratic equation. Okay, but let's just rewrite it here. So it was x squared minus 3x minus 4, that was 0. Let's see if we can factorize. Group B, do you agree? Um, let's see if we find that factors. 4 and 1, 1 and 1. 4 minus, because group B I subtract, and that will be 3. Excellent. Signs will be different. The biggest over cross will get that sign. This one positive, this x, x. So I will have x minus 4, x plus 1. So x minus 4 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. So x is equal to 4, or x is equal to negative 1. Okay, but now... Um, remember my previous equation? Can you remember um, my equation that I simply, it was y equals x minus 2 over 2. So if I simplify it in that, it's y equals x minus 2 over 2. I'm going to do it two times. So it's going to be 4 minus 2 over 2. It's going to be negative 1 minus 2 over 2, and that is 2 over 2. That is just going to be 1. Okay. Um, let's just see. I just want to check quickly. I will now. And this is going to be negative 3 over 2. Okay. 
So basically, I can end up by saying um, the coordinates or the points. Um, did I ask you the points? No. So I just want to control this one to make sure that I was correct. Because it was 4, so it's 4 minus 2, it's 2 over 2, it's definitely 1. So I um, can end by say solution. When, let's make it red. When x equals 4, y is equal to 1. And when x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to negative one and a half or you can keep it negative three over two and that's how you do it